coin. What are the cheers about? I'm drinking coffee. Well, I'm drinking drinks. Why you got a green cup? Because you got alphas later? No, because my daughter was in the army. Oh. What the fuck? Why you got glasses on? Because I'm smart. So what you trying to say, I'm not? Ain't that why people wear glasses? Now we smart together. <laughs> Alright. Hey, man. Episode... I get we could call it two or we could call it one, whatever you want to call it. Let's call it two since we did the pilot last week. Okay. Episode two, disturbingly random. All you right. gonna keep your glasses on? I'm gonna keep on. I need to see. Me too. All right, whatever. Let's start. Anyway, man. What's new with you this week? Mm. Where you want to start? We can go from. Um, Kevin Hart, I think is wrong. Whoa, 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 whoa. You think Kevin Hart was wrong? No, I think the way they don't want him to host the Oscars. That was wrong. Yeah, because you talking about something that happened six years ago, like, that's the past. You gotta move on. He apologized for it already. Don't keep harping over. You can't keep doing that. That's old. That's I mean, old news. I agree with you. I agree with you. 100%. You know what I mean? It's like, like yeah, let that man live. You know what I'm saying? If he apologized, like, when it happened, then let it go. You know what I mean? And then, you know, let him move on or whatever like that. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure that, and listen, this is not being insensitive to the LBGTQZ. I don't know how many I'm syllables in it. I'm not touching that topic. I'm going to touch the topic. That's on you. How many letters is in it? And they, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the community consists of. It's like... Yo, I'm pretty sure they've moved on and they've done more things since then. So it's like, let the man live. I agree. I mean? So, you know what I mean? But I I respect how he handled it. Me too. He if handled he like said, a real man. If he said, you know what? Hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to back out of the ceremony or whatever like that or the award show from hosting it or whatever like that, then I agree with that. You but I mean? think we all need to stand up and, you know, let it be known that he needs to be really hosting it because that's the past. You can't. Look at all these people that's doing stuff that them did stuff. I don't got time for that. Next topic. Ain't got time for that. All right. Um. I got one for you. What? Remember we had a discussion about the black tree? Christmas tree. Mm-hmm. Go on. I was telling you about it and you was like, eh. That don't even make sense. That sound ugly. It did sound ugly. Sound ugly. So when I but, told but, you But 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 I did Google the black Christmas tree. And it looks good. High five. I give you top. I give you. I give you high five on that. Told you. The now you think you want to buy one? I want one. I want a black Christmas tree. Okay. Black and yellow. Black and yellow. Black not and yellow. Not black and yellow. Not black and yellow. Black and yellow. Not. Black and pink. <laughs> no. Black and gold. Black and gold is just black like and almost silver. Black, black and silver. Um, that's like gray. Listen, we posted up something on Still Mag um, on Instagram. At Still Mag, and if people want to go and check it out, there's a black Christmas tree. Mm-hmm. That's the Christmas tree I like. That's I, what I like. I gotta look it up and see. It might mm-hmm. not. Look, it might not be cute. Look it up. Hey man, hold up. Speaking of Instagram, you've been posting up a lot of crazy stuff on your uh, Miss Cookie, hey. M- 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 MZ dot Cookie K U K Y underscore Entertainer. You got it. On that, on that, on that Instagram. Like, you've been posting a lot of stuff, mm-hmm. and I was involved in a part of that, in a part of that. Hold up. Go part, what part, what part? Yes. The part when you went to that 1800 thing, doesn't it? Let's get into that. Please do. And then let's talk about it and be serious about it. I'm going to be serious. Okay. I'm going to keep Start it 100. Start from the beginning. I'm going to keep it 100. All right. Don't ever take me to nothing like that again. You lying. You're my security. You're no, I'm going to tell you why. No, 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 no. Your security, you're going. No, no, no. Yes. I'm going to tell you why. Why? Because, because um, it seemed like TMZ was running it. And what I mean by that, it was like, it was a Pusha T event. Pusha T and 1800 Tequila event. But it was like young white kids running, like the involved with the front door. And that bothered me. Because why, why I was like, and because... Are young white kids the face of hip-hop now? Is that what you're telling me? No. So what the hell is that about? 
I was supposed to have been at the door then. You should have been at the front door. I think so. You should have got me in quicker. I was on that long line. Whoa, whoa, no, whoa, I was whoa, at, whoa, no, whoa. I was down the street and around the corner at first. At first. Until okay, you went up the okay, wait, you... wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. We was down the street and around the corner because of you. No. So yes, just... you said this is the line. I said, no, I don't think this is the line. I think we're supposed to go right to the front. You said. If it was because of me, you want me to tell you where I would have been? No, I don't want if you to tell me. If it was because of me? I don't want you to tell me. I would have been at home in the bed. Okay, well, that's 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 you, me. You was doing security that night, but listen, you said that, and what did you say when we was in that line? Let me see. Say what you said. I said, let me see if I could pull a press pass. Stop lying. Oh, wait, let me see what you can do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let yeah, me yeah, see yeah. if you can go up to the front and get us in there. That's what you said, right? Yeah. yeah. And what happened? You went up there and you got us in, like twenty five minutes later. You hate to give somebody a prize. You're such a I hate it. Huh? Hey, I'm just saying. That's, just, really that, that's what happened. But at the end of the night, at the end of the night, Nathan, I still didn't see Pusha T, number one. No, number right number two, number two, I felt like TMZ was running. You was drink. drinking, though, for yeah, free. That was free. That was free. That was okay. definitely like a courtesy of 1800 Tequila. So I will give them props for that, Nathan. I'll give you props for that, for, for linking up with them people. All right? I'll give you props for that. All right? I'm, I'm going to move on on that one. And Nathan, hey, let me ask you something. Like... And, and I'm only asking this because I seen something online. I seen somebody or some people, some women, talk about um, gray sweatpants. What the hell is the deal with women liking guys with gray sweatpants? Because we get to see when they hang low. How low can you go? How low can you go? Dead ass. Dead serious. Yeah. And gray sweatpants do it. No other color. Because black is, you know... No, you don't need no black, because black might think, make you look like you're small. So black make you like you small, gray look like, make you like you big. Visualize it. Alright, get out of the gray sweatpants. Okay. I just wanted to know, because they got like, they got Facebook pages called gray sweatpants pages and stuff like that. What's the other name? Gray sweatpants pages. You was, so that's like a thirst trap. Thirst trap? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> thirst trap, thirst trap is great. Gray sweatpants is the thirst trap. Mm -hmm. I, <laughs> we, I allegedly. Yo, when did this gray sweatpants thing start, though? I don't know. Gray sweatpants. Gray sweatpants. Gray sweatpants. Like last year, this year. I, I swear, I only heard this year. You had someone and somebody said it, right? <laughs> I'm not saying nothing. Hey, I'm done with you. Mm. Hey. I, I'm, I'm telling you, the great sweat fans. Okay. Let me move on to my topics, man. Nice. <laughs> Yo, so so let me ask you something. If, if dudes was dudes wearing great sweatpants back in the days, just look, just they was wearing biker shorts. What the? F they was wearing biker shorts. Who? Who? Who was wearing biker shorts? Teddy Riley and them. Teddy. <laughs> God groove me. You serious? Baby. Don't do that, don't do that, don't spoil it. Do not mess up the New Jack Swing with that. Guy was wearing biker shorts. Yes, they were. Hold up, wait, 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 wait. Fantasy in a fantasy video and anything, it's just a fantasy. I don't know they what was, video. They was wearing biker shorts. Thank you. And Aaron Hall is my dude. Thank you. So 90s, 90s R&B was all about So that was, a, that was a new bike, that was a biker shorts back then. You wasn't around, was you off the porch back then? Yeah. Was you off the porch? I don't say. Did you remember our nineties R and B? Was you off the porch? Yeah, because the street out? lights wasn't on back oh, then. Oh, was you hanging out? Yeah, I was hanging out. What was you doing? Let me see. What year? Nineties. That was Club Eighty Eight, Zanzibar, Mirage, uh, Sensations. Yeah. So you was off the porch. You was hanging out. You was going to all those places. Mm -hmm. That's all Jersey clubs. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm just asking. I just want to know. I wasn't one of those clubs back then. Who you was going? I was selling drugs. Oh. I was pulling up on the corner right by those clubs and everything, and I was telling girls like you to get in the car. Wait. What? Why? Why girls like me? What? What that mean? If you went to the club, then you was getting in my car. No, because I ain't never get in your car. If you went to that club, you was getting in my car. I went to that club, but I didn't get in your car. Your cousin did. 
No, my cousin did not. Your friend did. My friend didn't. She did. Ask her. What's her name? Mm -hmm. Well, then I. So let me ask you something. I'm listening. So that was the '90s in R&B times and everything. Cisco drinking, uh -huh. forty ounces drinking. '90s R&B spandex and all of that. Um, and you know what I was doing. And now I know what you were doing. Right. So ultimately, ulti ultimately, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Ultimately, in 93, 94, in 18, right? I took a hiatus. I was gone. In 18, right? Would you, would you had, would you had, like, came and visited me? Yeah. Um, while I was, like, while I was away? Mm hmm So you... I had a friend that was locked up, and um, he was down in Essex County. That was back then when you could take the underclothes and stuff. I used to take them on the clothes and stuff. Batteries. What the batteries for? Radio. You didn't say radio Raheem, no. <laughs> so you didn't take them radio batteries and underclothes and no, just t shirts. Un t shirts, and... underwear, and socks. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Oh, wow. So suppose he was like away in like the um in like the feds. Would you have came to visit him? I think I probably would have been scared. Cause then I mean the feds if you have a track on me. The feds got a track on you too. I ain't been to the feds. No, no, I'm just saying just with like the internet and and, and and software and hardware and stuff like that. Your phone and all that stuff like that. They got, they got a track on you today. Oh. So you might as well go and see somebody in the feds, right? I don't, no, I'm not doing that. No? No, that's a, this is a new generation. We're not doing that. So you so dudes in the feds can, they lost. They don't got nothing to do with me. So suppose you know a guy who went to the feds. Uh, he not in the Listen, enemy. time out. Meek Mill just dropped the album. He talking about prison reform. And here you are talking about you want to go see a guy in the feds. For what? Why would I know somebody that's in the feds? Because everybody is involved with the system. I'm saying if, they close, if they're a close friend and I knew him and I grew up with him and... Yeah, I can respect that. You're going to go see him? I didn't say Maybe. that. You're going to write him? I might put money in the commentary, but that's about it. How much? How much you gonna put in the commentary? Shit, you act like I'm a millionaire. But how much you gonna put? Look. How much? How much would you put? Start for twenty. See if they appreciate that. <laughs> and if you appreciate the twenty, then you might get, get up to fifty. Damn. So would you? Uh, so suppose, suppose he suppose might you got you, a girl. <laughs> but suppose suppose I'm just have, a friend. Suppose you ain't a girl and you ain't he don't have a girl and then you go see him and they. Uh -huh, like, do all He like yo, you know what I'm Come check me out. Wear a short skirt and they. No. Don't wear no. Not don't I'm not even going. Don't want. Don't want. I'm not going. Yeah, I don't know that. On the VI, you're not gonna come on the VI. Don't want to visit. Don't wear the visit. The visit. You're not gonna come on a visit and don't wear no panties and anything. And no, well, I'm not wearing panties. Cause if you got a Brazilian wax and anything, you know, what I'm saying you can show. Them. I got one. That you got a visit? No. Is that a Brazilian wax? I got a Brazilian wax. I'm done. Why? Cause you went on a visit? No. I got a Brazilian wax because I wanted to be smooth like the baby butt. Let me ask you. You a man, right? Yeah. You would right I get one? Is that what you asked me? Would you? I would. I would love to get a Brazilian wax. I would take is, is it a Brazilian wax if a guy get one? Yeah. Or is it a Mexican wax? It's what's the Brazilian? difference in Brazilian and Mexican? Is it, what's the Mexican wax? I don't know. I just thought like a Brazilian wax is because you're getting certain different Yeah, why do they call zones? it Brazilian? No, they call it Brazilian wax because you get everything off the vagina and out the crack of the ass. And then so the is bikini this? is just a bikini. So a, me a Mexican, so a hold up. So if a guy get a Brazilian wax, are you getting the same areas or are you like getting a different area? They probably going to wax you around the penis and under the balls. Don't say penis ever again on this podcast. Penis sounds crazy. Penis sounds crazy. So what do you want me to say, dick? Yeah, say that. Say dick. Please. Okay. Please say that. I was trying to be appropriate. Don't say dick. Don't say penis again. Don't say penis. Penis sounds... Yo, that sounds so crazy. Drink. Yeah, please have a drink. <laughs> please do. Anyway. Please do. <laughs> so... You gotta can't resist. say pee, can't say piss. Don't say piss. Not for women. Don't say piss for a woman saying piss. I gotta go take a piss. She a dude. She a dude. She a dude. She a guy. 
She's a man. How she a man? And you saying she is a she? It can't it, be a well, she then, is a man. Well, well, then he's a man. If 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 a woman says, hey, "I gotta go take a piss," then you envision her standing up. Yeah. If a guy say, "I gotta go pee," then you envision him sitting down. Okay. Do you like a woman with hair or without hair? Then? In regards to a Brazilian. Yeah. Without. Why? Even, but if she cut it down to like a one against the grain. Like she What's got that? like, that's like a low. Like she keep it low. Like as a Caesar. If she got that's a Caesar. That's that barbershop cut. Talk. Yeah, if she got a Caesar, like a one against the grain and everything, mm-hmm. that's cool. I'll go with that. I could go with a one against the grain. You know what I mean? I, it ain't got to be like straight ball or whatever like that. It ain't got to be straight ball. It's mm-hmm. smoother. Nah, it's smoother than anything. Sometimes you get but pricks if it got a little bit here. In a way, it's childish. If it's like super smooth. It's childish. You know what I'm saying? But if it's like a one against the grain. And anything, then it's like, you know, I can expect that from you. That's why you got all that gray hair. But next topic, <laughs> wow, okay, <laughs> yo, I, I, I don't even know. I, I wrote some stuff down, but it's like, yo, you like, you like, you, you killed me. And anything, so you say you would mess me up with the gray hair, because <laughs> I didn't expect that to come out of you. Because you talking about. What did you say? I said about about the about the bald. Oh, you said that's childish. It is childish. Now I said because you got gray hair, you you much older. So that means that if I'm older than anything, I wouldn't want like something. I wouldn't want the bald. I would want like the the, the which is prickly, the prickly. Yeah. Like older men, like younger women. I can go. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with you. Hey, let me ask you something. That's just like the topic of um Jermaine Jackson. Ho 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 ho! Don't do this one. Please don't do this one. I have I have issues with what you said earlier. And anything about Jermaine Jackson? Jermaine Jackson. Hold it. You said Jermaine Jackson's girl was how? Oh, his, his wife. Fiance. His fiance. Twenty three. What did you say? Twenty three. Uh, I think twenty two. Twenty two. Twenty three. And he's 60, allegedly. And she's sixty three. Sixty-three. I don't know. He's sixty-three. No, he out uh, the coffee. Sixty-three. What's in the coffee? <laughs> Cream. Hey, what kind? so she Prince he's Vanilla? sixty-three. And, yeah. So he's sixty-three. She's twenty-three. Mm-hmm. Twenty. A forty-year difference. Mm-hmm. What's the problem? What's the problem with that? I want to hear what your problem is. That's just like him dating either his daughter or his granddaughter. Did you have a problem with R. Kelly dating Aaliyah? That's different. What's the difference? That's what's different. What's the difference with that? That's, that's different. What? It's, it's no different. It is a difference. I mean, I'm that was back in the day. This is right now. So it's okay for him. So no, it wasn't okay then. It ain't okay now. Okay. You have a daughter, right? Yeah, I have three. Okay. How old is your youngest? Twenty-six now. Okay. She told you she was bit, she was about to marry a seventy year old. How would you feel about it? A seventy year old? Yeah. If she told me that she was going to date a thirty year old, I'd be like, this. Yo. No, it's a difference. No, it's a big difference. No, that she twenty six no, to thirty. A thirty is a difference, but a seventy year old is a big difference. Exactly. So that's a big difference. So you were saying Jermaine Jackson anything is a is a pedophile? She uh, if she get married to him is only for uh, one or two reasons. Okay. Money or the last name? Money or the last name? Mm-hmm. You think Jermaine Jackson got money? He wrote his name, yeah. He he wrote his name out? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, do he, he don't put no music out. Now that he still get royalties from the Jackson 5. How much money do you think he bringing in? I gotta Google that. Yeah, you should Google that. I don't know if Jermaine Jackson got a lot of money coming in. I, I think she just wants the prestige. That's like what most women, what most young girls want. You know what I'm saying? They just want the prestige. And they, you know, that's like, that's like, that's like an Instagram chick. And they, you know what I'm saying? Yo, they want to get involved with like, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, with, uh, like, uh, these guys and anything who are in the industry and anything, you know what I'm saying? Because they want prestige. And they, they want to say like, you know what I'm saying? They somebody. That's what you think? That's what I'm thinking. She's an Instagram model, probably. I bet you dollars to donuts that she's an Instagram model. 
I bet you. So you're saying like this girl, you <laughs> think who Jermaine Dupri? Jermaine Dupri? Is it Jermaine Dupri? No, Jermaine it's Jackson. not Jermaine. Jermaine Jackson. Damn, I wonder who Jermaine Dupri dated. Who he with right now? Oh, I don't know. Let me think. But um, maybe him and Janet might get back together. I doubt it. Oh, I it. They was good together. They was good. They was good together. It was. But um, so Jermaine Jackson, Nathan, I guarantee you that this girl and Nathan, we gonna like. Check how this long out. you think the the marriage will last? I give it a year in with a baby, and then she out. A year? That long? Yeah, she gotta have a baby. I give her six months. She gotta have a baby for me. But she won't have. She won't have one. And you get the baby, mm -hmm. you get the money, and you get the. You already got the last name, but that's a double. I'm gotta have it in that long. I guarantee you she walk away quick. 23-year-old girls do not see that far ahead. Do you understand with the baby with the last name, that's, a, that's a longer she stretch? She won't see that far ahead. That's a longer stretch. That's generational she, money. She won't see that far ahead. I guarantee you. Guarantee you. <laughs> that's something that we're going to look forward to. All right, let's do that. Let's look forward to that. Okay, so what's this, 2018? This is December 2018. So we say... First by of all, June. we gotta find out when they're gonna get married. By no, we don't have to find out nothing. By June, this is done. So you think by June this is done? By June, this is done. Wait, do you think they're gonna get married though? By June, this is done. Marriage I don't no care marriage? what happens. By June, this is done. And what we shaking on? By June, this what is done. What we betting on first? Whatever you wanna bet. Um, some alcohol. No, nah, I bet you, I bet you a hundred dollars. By June, this is done. By June, this is done. Uh -huh. I think a hundred dollars is kind of slow. Low. Uh, let's go with hundred. Let's start with a hundred. Come on, a hundred dollars. This is not a hundred dollars hey, in, in food. A hundred dollars in a meal. There you go. So let's do that. Hey, and by the way, your nails look nice. Ah, thank you. You see it? We gonna post that. Ain't that pretty? You mm -hmm. got candy canes and everything. I got candy canes. I got lights. I got a snowman. I got. Show them. Show them. Let, uh, let them see them stubby toes. Must be at you. No, oh, but let them see them stubby toes. Don't do that. We just gonna miss that miss and everything on the toes. That's right. She you said see? just that one. Miss yeah, because then you're gonna see, see everybody gonna see my feet feet is fat. They gonna post. We gonna post those. <laughs> we gonna post. Those. We wish you a merry Christmas. We wish you a merry Christmas. We wish you a merry Christmas and a happy New Year. Hey, did you do your Christmas shopping yet? Oh, did I? I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. Well, yo, okay. let's say um, Merry Christmas. Uh, hey, we're going to do this next week again. Um, we're going to have to wear Christmas sweaters. Listen. And all the way up until New Year's. I'm wearing a onesie. No, you got to wear that for Christmas. For the Christmas episode. All right, we'll do that for Christmas episode. Next week, we got to wear an ugly sweater. Ugly sweater. A the Just a sweater or ugly sweater? An ugly sweater. Oh, that's too much. No, all it's not. Right. Okay. Let's put, your pay let's put your face on one. Ne <laughs> Oh, All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just say it. That'd be dope. You put my face on yours, I put your face on mine. That would definitely be ugly sweater. No, because hey. I, I am not ugly. Hey, man. Hey. You see hey. my shirt? Shake it up. I ain't ugly. Shake it up. I ain't ugly. Hey, man, follow us and anything on um on uh, YouTube. All right. <laughs> What's hey. the name of the place? Disturbingly Random. You got it? All right. Thank All right. You. Check us out. Anything. That's Cookie. <laughs> I'm bro. Alright, we out of here. Let's do it again next week. <sighs> that was good. You a mess. Party. We like to party. We don't cause trouble. We don't bother nobody. We're just the men that's on the mic. And when we rock upon the mic, we rock the mic. <laughs> For on and on, I keep it on and hell just to see your body, enjoy yourself, and it's cool when you cause a cozy condition that we 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 recreate, <laughs> and that's how our mission to listen to what we say because this type of shit happens every day. I woke up around ten o'clock in the morning and I gave myself a stretch morning on it, went to the bathroom to wash up, put some soap on my. Two pace on my <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the touchiest of the mall? It was a rumble dumble. A five minutes that lasted. The mirror said, "You are. You can see the basket." <laughs>